With a quite characteristic humor, Luffy and the rest of the crew of the Straw Hats come back in a new delivery of the series Pirate Warriors to defeat thousands and thousands of enemies. Are you ready to share blows everywhere? Do you want to beat with your favorite character a countless number of enemies? Hold on to this trip full of emotions and epic battles! The last words before the death of Goldie Roger, the King of Pirates, gave way to the Great Age of Piracy, and invites to seek the treasure he accumulated over his life as a pirate in a place called One Piece. Whoever that be able to find the treasure will become the new King of Pirates. So this is how begins the epic story where our hero Luffy goes aboard to recruit a crew and become the man who find One Piece. Unlike the previous delivery of the series Pirate Warriors, where the story didn't take part of what happened in the manga or the anime, in this title we will visit each of the sagas of One Piece until the current one which is still in transmission. So the fans of the series will be able to relive the most representative moments of each of the sagas. And for those who are not followers of One Piece, they can get close to the title with assurance that it will be told all they need to know. Pirate Warriors 3 is a title that is characterized for being a beat em up hack and slash where we control characters from One Piece and it's our duty to defeat literally thousands of enemies in each level. Two buttons is all we need to start sharing blows left and right. With a combination of the strong and light punch we can make combos that show characteristic attacks of each character and make more than one person to feel excited. There are also special attacks really unique of each character that are executed with one button. To make a special attack we have to fill a bar by defeating some enemies. At each level we'll be accompanied by a supporting character that will help us. To use this character we have to defeat enemies and fill a bar. At the end of a combo with our main character and continue pressing the strong or light punch, the supporting character will make a brief appearance and make an area attack. When the bar of our light is filled at the highest level, you can activate the Kisuna attack, which consists in a brief state of increased stats when all combos that we make and interventions of our light are improved. In addition, if you activate the special attack during the Kisuna attack, you will make a combination with our main character and our light making a devastating attack. At the end of each level, our performance will be evaluated and depending on how much time we took to completing the level and the number of enemies we eliminate, we will gain a range. Moreover, at each level, there will be treasure events, which are conditions to achieve. For example, complete the level with a specific character. Both the range and treasure events will give us coins that are more like chips because they are of characters, objects and locations. Such coins can be used to increase the stats of each character, either health, attack, defense, increase a special attack bar or slots to add more skills. The weirdest coins will add secondary attacks or new clothing. With this system, the game invites us to repeat several levels to get those weird coins and also adds a reason to complete the game at 100% for those players who like collectibles. The game is divided into Legend Diary, Free Diary, and Dreams Diary. Legend Diary is the main campaign where all the One Piece story takes place. Free Diary is almost the same thing with the difference that we can choose our favorite character to complete each level. Even we can choose evil characters or those ones who were not even in the first sagas. Finally, in the Dreams Diary, we will choose characters to complete levels represented by islands, to move forward and reach islands with the iconic characters of the series, characters we can only unlock in this game mode if we want to use them in Free Diary. The online mode is only to play any level of the Free Diary mode accompanied by another player from anywhere in the world, with the advantage of getting more coins than if we play alone. Each level in any game mode is a map made of hallways and rooms. To get out victorious, we have to follow the instruction we were given when we start the level. At the beginning, the amount of information that accumulates on the screen seems overwhelming, and maybe it is. But as soon as we move on, we will get used to and we will make our action much faster and fulfill the main objectives of the level in a fast way. While too early in the game there are many tutorials, it's appreciated the detailed explanation of each element that makes up the gameplay, because they are a lot. The amount of enemies on screen is impressive, especially because the frame rate is not affected, making it fluent and smooth combat. 
Unfortunately, it is really easy to lose the view of what we're doing and find our character among many enemies. Sometimes the system to target the strongest enemy is more harmful than helpful. We also have to take in account that the dialogues, the map, our health indicator, the bars of special attacks, the Kisuna attack also warning of new objectives, and the events occurring can make the screen to get saturated until it's necessary to pause and check the history to know all that happened, and then proceed with our goal. The easy way you can address the game is one of the main attractions, because you don't have to be a fan of One Piece to share blows and enjoy it. Whoever can address the game and spend a good time with it, at least in one level. The title has seen it for being repetitive, especially when each level takes 15 to 30 minutes to beat. We recommend you to enjoy, play with the easy or normal difficulty. It is not because the enemies are a problem, because sometimes you can end up losing because of not completing the goals, causing you to restart the level, even if you already have more than 20 minutes playing it. The game looked better over its predecessors. The character design looks much detailed, and with a touch of realism in the clothing of each character, you can perceive the texture of the velvety coats or leather jackets. Graphic aspects are cheap because it's the first game of the series Pirate Waters, which fits on the current generation of console. It is quite interesting the combination between the common cinematics and the implementation of the new way of telling an event in the game, which consists of a sequence of pictures of the manga, a very good addition to give freshness to what has already been seen before, which sometimes is not that good because it's poor lip synchronization. <laughs> The design of the common enemies is generic, but understandable if you consider that many of them appear and we don't pay attention to the laborers. It should be noted that either way, there is a battery among marines, pirates, members of cypherpole, and zombies. So it does not seem that much of visual repetition of enemies. Finally, scenarios look just good, have the necessary element to establish a connection with each of the sagas of the series, either looking like a boat or the famous Alabasta Desert, but certainly they don't have memorable elements. The only thing that will matter to us are the enemies, and we rarely stop to see the scenarios. As usual, it has the participation of the original voices of all the characters captivating fans of the series. It's always nice to hear a favorite character making a scream with each of the different attacks. The sound effects are also successfully performed, making us feeling in a real battle in the anime because of all the sounds when we hit the enemies and the objects such as swords or lighting. The music of the game is one of the greatest decisions of the Pirate Warriors series. It's an orchestral combination of what we heard in the anime and a mix of alternative rock. They took some freedom in the music so you will not hear the most memorable songs, but the pieces that have been created for the game are made of excellent quality and manage to transmit the frenzy of the battles, or the most emotional scenes. <laughs> It's quite obvious the reason why One Piece Pirate Warrior is until now the best title of the series. It has improved delivery after delivery and correct previous mistakes to grant in this last game to fans of the gender. And especially give to the fans of One Piece the opportunity to enjoy hours of fun playing with their favorite characters and trying to get 100% complete. For those who haven't met the manga or anime, it is a game that is easy to deal with, at least superficially, because the mechanics are really easy to master and the basic principle to eliminate all enemies on screen, making this game a fun title for any session whether you play a lot or just a few minutes. Don't forget to give us like, comment, share, and of course, keep playing! Nikata